Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the AnyViewer uh, remote control software. So this is a remote desktop type software that you could use over the internet or over your network to connect to other computers and control them, as well as transfer files. So they have several versions, a free, a pro, and an enterprise, which I'll show you in a minute here. So I'm just going to show you how it works real quick. So once you download and install the software, all you got to do is double click it to run it. So we're running the free version right now. And you see this has a similar interface to TeamViewer, if you've ever used that with an ID and a security code. So we have this one computer with a blue background, and we have a Word document open here. So now we're going to go to a different computer that we're going to use to connect to this one with. All right, so this one has the black background, so this one's going to be the one we're connecting with. All right, so once you install the program and run it, it'll be running down here as well. But you could also turn this off if you don't want it to start with the computer. So you could come down here, right-click on it, open exit, lock, and so on. Okay, so now for the computer we're connecting to, we need this ID, so we'll go back there. So this is the ID that the person would give you. Let's say you're talking on the phone, and that's the security code they could give you as well, and there's two ways to do this. So let's go back over to the one we're connecting with. All right, so we got our code in here. So we have the options for remote control and file transfer. We're gonna do remote control, but before we do that, let's kind of go over some of the settings here. If you make a free account, you could log in with it, and then you could do things such as uh, access unintended devices with one click, uh, do the file transfers, manage the history of your connections, and then also initiate remote sessions from mobile devices. And some of the options you could do after you log in. Then you have your basic settings for unattended, allow logged in devices to connect one click, uh, set your own security code uh, for the recipient, allow to accept remote control, allow temporary security code, and then you have security code options here if you want to change them or not. Controller, so image quality. So if you want high quality, you have to have the uh, pro version. And you have, so you have balanced and high speed. Security options uh, for locking the interface. And then your basic options. So here's the option to start it with Windows if you want to do that and prevent the device from sleeping. And for device name, it's going to pull that from your computer name, but you could change that if you want. Okay, so now that we have the code, we're going to connect to the computer with the blue desktops. So we're going to click on connect. So there's two options. You could send a request to your partner. So if somebody's there, they'll have to accept it. Or if you have the security code, then you could just log in yourself. So we're going to try the send request to your partner method here. So now we've got to go back to the other computer. Okay, so you can see there's a pop-up here saying this person wants to connect. So deny or allow, we're going to say allow. And it automatically opens up the, the uh, message box if you want to send a message. Okay, so let's go back over to the uh, controlling computer here. And now you can see we're controlling the computer with the blue desktop. We have the Word file open here. And then you get a toolbar up here for adaptive or original. So depending on the resolution of the computer on the other end, you know, one of these methods might work better for you. And then you could also change the size here as well if you want. Then you have your modes. So here's the high quality again for the pro, high speed. You could change the frames per second if you have the pro version. Then you have some operations such as send to control, alt, delete, lock, log out, restart, shut down, you know, open task manager, for example. But of course, you know, you could open task manager from down here too as well. It's just a quick shortcut here. If you want to disable the mouse and keyboard for the recipient so they can't uh, mess around while you're trying to control it, but that's a pro option. Blank the screen so they can't see what you're doing. And then lock the device when disconnected. Then here's the chat. If you want to send some messages, if you're not on the phone, you can just type in a message. Let's go over to the other computer real quick, even though we can see it there, like so. Okay, then the files option. So you have to be logged in to transfer files. So what that'll do is just kind of give you like an Explorer interface where you could uh, drag and drop files between both computers if you want to do that. Then you have the mute option, full screen, hide the toolbar, which just puts it up there. Okay, and then when you're done, you could simply just close it out and it'll disconnect like that. So now let's go back to the other computer. Okay, so now we're disconnected. Okay, so let me just show you the uh, website with the pricing real quick. All right, so we have the free version. Right now they're having a 60% off, depending on when you're watching this. Uh, and here's what the free version does. 
Then if you have the professional version, it's $358 a month. You get the higher speed, more logged in devices, more managed devices and channels. Uh, you get some support. And the enterprise, higher speed, more devices logged in and more users and so on. So that's going to cost you $1658 a month. But of course, the free version might work fine for you as well. So I guess you could try it and find out. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download any viewer, and then you could test it out and see which version works best for you. And then I'd also sign up for a free account so you could use the file transfer feature and then configure some of those other settings that you saw in the uh, program settings. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.